Hi friends. I'd like to share with you one of the stories of Jesus today. It's found in the Gospel of Matthew. It's found in Matthew 25, and it's one of the Kingdom of Heaven parables. We know Jesus' parables are, are so meaningful to us, aren't they? Meaningful to the reader, meaningful to the listener of his day or today. We find in this particular parable, Jesus talking about the Kingdom of Heaven and a flock of people that is uh, coordinated into two flocks, actually. He has the sheep and he has the goats. He puts the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. And he shares this message with the sheep. And this is found in Matthew 25, starting with um, verse 33. He shares, And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was a stranger, you took me in. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was sick, you visited me. When I was in prison, you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty, or give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked, or clothe you? Or when did we see you sick, or in prison, and come to you? And here's how the king will answer them in verse 40. He says, The king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. My friends, we are called by God to help other people. We are called by God to listen to people. We are called by God to do for people. We are called by God to be for people what they need. We are called to be the voice and the hands and the feet of Jesus to a world that needs Jesus. You may be the only example of Jesus that someone else may see or hear from or receive from. We know that blessed verse of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The second verse of that in John 3, 17, it says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn it, but he sent his Son into the world to save it. Will you be like the great shepherds, faithful sheep, the righteous, and be there for other people and help other people? I hope so, my friends, because remember, in this parable, it is the righteous sheep that are called in to the great shepherd's pasture. And I want you to be there in his kingdom one day. Would you partner with me? Would you partner with Jesus in reaching out to other people today? May God bless you and keep you. May his face smile upon you and may his Holy Spirit give you peace.